We find real joy when we make the Savior the focus of the season. Hello and welcome to another episode of Anchoring Hope, where we're shining the light in these times of uh, trouble and darkness. Today I want to talk about the holiday season and the reason why we celebrate Christmas. A lot of people get into a depressive mode in this time. People that are alone, or even worse, people that are surrounded by family, but they don't feel that uh, they are actually inside that family. They probably may feel rejected or they feel abandoned, they feel completely alone. This holiday season is a celebration of our breakthrough. It's a celebration where we as humankind have given a chance to go into the light of Jesus Christ. The reason for this holiday season, the reason to celebrate is that God became human and he came to this world to pay for our sins so that we don't have to go to hell to pay for our sins. So that we can actually take that gift of life and can ask for forgiveness. And then we can be washed by the blood of Jesus so that we can spend eternity with our Father, with Yahweh, with our God Almighty. So you see, beloved, there is no reason to feel depressed, to feel lonely, to feel sad. A lot of people will have memories or maybe somebody in your family just recently passed away. I'm here to give you hope and to tell you the truth about Christmas. Christmas is the celebration of God made human and coming into this earth to pay for our sins and also to teach us how to live of a life of fulfillment, how to live a life of peace, of joy, regardless of what trouble surrounds us. Problem after problem after problem is guaranteed. We came to this world to endure it. But that doesn't mean we have to be suffering. If you're still suffering in this world, it's because you haven't really received the light of Jesus Christ. You haven't, you haven't really surrendered your life completely to the Lord. That is the only way to have true peace and to joy. It's not because somebody is loving you or not because somebody is hating you or not because you are being rejected by your family or maybe because you are completely alone. Maybe your spouse just died and you are completely alone in this world. Or maybe you never had a spouse. You never had a partner. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be alone. I'm here to tell you that if you just surrender your life and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will never have to be alone anymore. In fact, you're not alone. The Holy Spirit is waiting for you to say yes to Him so He can come into your heart and start guiding your life towards a path of joy and peace. And like I said again, trouble will always come. But once you release your life to Jesus, once you completely surrender to the, to the will of God, then those troubles will not impact your happiness. And I can tell you all these things because this is the way I'm living my life now. 
I was a man of extreme anxiety. I was a man that was always worrying about the next day and the next week. If you know me, you know that I'm an entrepreneur and I run multiple businesses. And I have a lot of people that depend on the companies that I have founded. So before I gave my life completely to Jesus Christ, to the reason for Christmas, I was in worry. I was in pain. I, w I felt rejected. You know, when I was trying to sell the products and services in my companies, most people would reject me. And that rejection created pain in my heart. But it's because I didn't know that I could count on Jesus Christ. I could count on the Holy Spirit to live in my heart. You see, beloved, now I live under His will. So if I ask the Lord every morning, please, Lord, do your will, not mine. When I delegate that responsibility to Him, and I try to do my best during the day, I try to do my best to behave properly, to provide love to people. That's why I'm making this video. Because I'm trying to please his heart by following his will. So if I do that and trouble hits, or maybe I have a bad week of sales, or maybe we lost a lot of money, or who knows, maybe one of my family members got really sick. I don't know, no longer need to have anxiety or worry because I've surrendered to the life of Jesus, which means that whatever comes will be better for me. The Bible says in Romans 8:28 that all things work together for good to those who love Jesus and are called according to his purpose. And that's a beautiful promise. And this year has been the hardest year in my life because the Lord has healed all my wounds and he rescued me from hell, from the hell that I made for myself in the previous years. But it also has been the best year of my life because I finally learned how to live a life of surrender. A life of living in the now, in the moment, knowing that tomorrow belongs to the Lord and today I'm giving my day to the Lord. So now I can experience this joy and I, I radiate this joy wherever I go because I know that God has got my back and I'm surrounded by his angels. And that's biblical too. The Lord says in Psalms 91 that the Lord will sell angels to you if you believe in Jesus so that you will not fall down, so that you will not feel the pain, so that you will actually be in joy and peace despite of what's going on in your life. Beloved, I also want to talk about unclean spirits because these entities that are not seen, spirits are like the air. When I see the spirits in the in the supernatural with my spiritual eyes, I see them like smoke from a, from exhaust from a, from an old truck. You know, it's like black smoke. They are air, spirit is air. And these demons, these evil spirits, they come into our life and they emphasize what's wrong in our life. They emphasize what happened in our past. Their whole purpose is for you not to have that peace and joy that God promised you. And I had two demons in my life that I was able to cast out with the power of Jesus Christ and the power of his name. And I want you to know these demons because if you're watching this still, it's because you may be influenced by these evil spirits and you need to take them out of your life so you can have joy and peace. The first one is the spirit of abandonment. You see, beloved, when I was two years old, my mom passed away. She was 33 years old and she died from cancer. And that created a big wound in my heart you know, I, you know, I was wearing my bed until I was seven years old from the trauma of me losing my mom. And that opened up the window of opportunity for this unclean spirit to come into my heart. And this unclean spirit was always telling me that I was abandoned, that I wasn't accepted because I was living with my grandparents, because I was missing my dad and my older siblings that stayed with my dad. I was just a little baby. I was a kid. I couldn't live with them. And that spirit of abandonment called another evil spirit, which is evil spirit number two, the spirit of victimization. In other words, the spirit that makes you feel that you're always the victim. No matter what happens, it's never your fault. You are the victim. You are the one that your mom died. You are the one that your wife left. You are the one that your husband cheated on. You are the victim. You're always the victim. And it doesn't matter what happens in life, poor me. And that's one of the most dangerous unclean spirits that you can have in your flesh, beloved. Because if you have the spirit of victim, you can never get past that and you can never achieve anything in life because everything that happens to you 
it's not your fault. It's somebody else's fault because see, unconsciously you are led to believe that you are the victim. And those two demons work together. They are different demons, but they work together. The demon of abandonment gives you the feeling of rejection, which gives you this feeling that you are not worth anything. The, 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 the demon of abandonment, if you allow, to, allow it to work in your life, it will lead you to depression that will eventually lead you to suicide. That's how bad it is. The demon of victimization is another horrible demon that works hand in hand with, with the demon of abandonment. And that demon will prevent you from creating anything meaningful in your life. Because as soon as you try and you fall down, you will blame the other person. You will blame the internet. You will blame the economy. You will blame anything else but you because you are the victim. And beloved, it doesn't matter how hard your life is. And yes, you have, have done things done to you in this life that they were not your fault. But you are the child of the most high God. And you are of value. And if things happen in your life that you didn't call for, the Lord is allowing them to happen in your life to make you a stronger person, a better person. So pick up the pieces. But know that you cannot do that by your own will, by your own self. I tried that with personal development. I tried that with self-help. I tried to pick myself up thinking that I had the strength. And what that did is open the door for me to go to a slide to hell. Because then at the end of that transition, after you know, 10, 20 years of self-help and personal development, I believe that I was my own God, that I was God, which is the highest, highest sin you can ever make. Because when you believe that you are God, there is no other God more than you, and that calls the spirit of narcissism. You see how the spirits are related, beloved? And I'm talking to you right now because it's Christmas. It's about to be New Year. And if you're watching this still, you're suffering from that. So today I'm going to give you two choices, beloved. We're going to have two prayers. The first prayer is going to dedicate our life to Jesus Christ. If you are not a Christian yet, or if you are a Christian that fell from your faith like I did for 30 years, this is going to be your chance to come back to your faith, to re-invite the Holy Spirit to come into your life, or to invite the Holy Spirit to come into your life for the first time. Christmas is about celebrating Emmanuel. Emmanuel is the name of Jesus Christ, and the, that means God with us. Emmanuel is Yahweh turning to human. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Lord, but is the Lord Himself. So you explain yourself, if He's His Son, how can He be Himself? Well, uh, let me explain. Yahweh is one God. Jesus Christ came from Yahweh, which is Yahweh, but Jesus Christ is the Son of God in humanity because he was implanted by the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary without knowing her husband. It was a supernatural miracle because it was God himself making himself a human body inside the womb of a virgin. That's why Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But Jesus Christ is God. He is Yahweh. It's the same Spirit that created a body so that he could come to teach us how to live life. So he could come and die on that cross so that you don't have to go to hell. He went to hell for you. And all you need to do is believe, beloved. Give Jesus a chance because I've tried everything and I bet you're trying everything. I went from, you know, from self-help to trying to be a Buddhist, then to follow the Hindu religions, following gurus online, following all kinds of stupidity. And I tried everything that I could. And I was already supposed to be a Christian, but I never took care of go deep into the faith and to read my Bible, beloved. And I tell you, after doing the whole circle and trying everything, transcendental meditations, trying psychedelics, trying, trying to look for God in the wrong places, I came back to the light of Jesus Christ. And now I can tell you, I can testify that I have never been so happy in my life. I have never had so much joy, joy and peace and people notice it on the street. When we're walking with my wife on the street, people tell us, what's with you? Why are you so happy? And I want you to have that because that's the promise that the Lord gave us. So give Jesus a chance. So like I said, I'm going to have, I'm going to make two prayers. The first prayer is for you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your heart. And if you do that with all your might, all your power, believing that Jesus forgives your sins, then I'm going to make a second prayer. I'm going to have a pause. And the second prayer 
we're going to cast out three demons. We're going to cast out the demon of abandonment. We're going to cast out the demon of the victim mentality. And we're going to cast out the demon of narcissism. The Bible says that when we cast out demons in the name of Jesus Christ, they have to flee. Because Jesus came to break the works of the enemy. And the worst part is that most people don't believe in demons because demons disguise themselves as angels of light and they try to be ignored so that they can get people into a, a destructive pattern, addictions, and constant feeling bad because that's what they enjoy doing. They enjoy destroying people's lives until people commit suicide. That's the bottom. That's what they want. And the world is filled with these demons. But the Lord has raised me as a mighty warrior of Jesus Christ to help you be delivered. So we're going to do this today. And when I cast the demon out, all you have to do is say, I renounce. I renounce the spirit of victimization. I renounce the spirit of abandonment. I renounce the spirit of narcissism in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's do that right now, guys. Let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus Christ, thank you so much, Lord, because we're celebrating the coming of Jesus Christ into the world. We're celebrating Yahweh made human, being born from a virgin, so that he could come and teach us how to live this life. Thank you, Lord, because you go into that cross and we believe that you die in that cross, that you shed your blood for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because we believe that you dying for our sins makes us holy and makes us whole and cleanses all our sins. We believe, Lord, that you went to hell for three days and you paid for our sins in hell. We also believe, Lord, that the Holy Spirit resurrected you on the third day. And now you are in heaven sitting beside Yahweh our dad. Lord, I thank you because you are washing away my sins right now. I thank you, Lord, because I believe and I declare that I no longer want to sin and I repent for every wrongdoing that I have done in the past. I also declare, Lord, that there is nothing in my life that I can do to be forgiven except to accept your sacrifice in the cross, Jesus. I need you, Jesus, in my life. Holy Spirit, please come into my heart. Cleanse me for everything wrong in my past. Give me a new life. Give me a new chance and guide me. Allow me to surrender my entire life to you every single day so that I can live in the process of sanctification, Lord, so I can spend eternity with you, O beloved Almighty Yahweh. Thank you, Lord, because I find peace in you. Thank you, Lord, because I find joy in you. Thank you, Lord, because by faith I'm being transformed right now with this prayer. Thank you, Lord, because I believe that you will heal my wounds my spiritual wounds, you also will heal everything that is wrong with me, with my health and my condition according to your will. Lord, I pray for everybody that has made this prayer, that you deliver them from every sickness, every illness, from every evil that is attacking them, Lord. Beloved, if you're still listening to me, please say, I renounce the spirit of abandonment. I renounce the spirit of victimization. I renounce the spirit of narcissism. I decree and declare that these demons have no longer power in me because I don't want them in my life anymore. Dear Father, now, as the authority that you have put in me, as your priest, Lord, as your servant, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for everybody that is under the voice of my command, I cast out every unclean spirit of victimization you must go right now in the name of Jesus Christ I cast out every spirit of abandonment you must go from the beloved that is listening to me right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I cast out every spirit of narcissism that is invading the lives of the people under my command I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ you must live now and I cover everybody with the blood of Jesus Christ and the protection of the Holy Spirit. And I command through the power of the Holy Spirit to have angels around them. And I seal them with the Holy Spirit so that these 
evil entities will never come back and hurt them again. In your glorious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow, that was powerful. In the spiritual realm, there is a celebration right now, beloved, because you just got delivered. You just got freed. But most importantly, you just got saved. You just accepted Jesus Christ in your heart. You know what that means, beloved? Well, now you can die. If you die tomorrow, you get to go to heaven and you get to live with God in heaven forever and ever again. And you no longer have to pay for your sins. What a celebration. This is what Christmas is about. Christmas is about you. It's about God having so much compassion for your soul that he came to die for you. So let's celebrate together this Christmas season. You are no longer alone. If you're completely alone, beloved, go to a, a Holy Spirit-filled church. They, most of them have services. And if you cannot do that, stay home and listen to worship music. Read your Bible and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. You are not alone anymore. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit, the Most High God, come and lives in your heart. So you will never, ever be alone in your life anymore. And the Lord will send you angels. So you will always be in community with the Holy Spirit from now until you see the Lord in heaven. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And remember, you're never alone. And if you need my help, type it in the comments. I'm here to pray for you. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.